Alright guys, so I've decided to completely skip a, a, an intro for this video but I do have a word of caution before we a, a, jump on the road here we are trying to basically download a Windows 11 ISO and then treat it as if it was a Windows 10 ISO and we can burn it on a USB stick or use it to install a virtual machine but the matter of fact is that Windows 10 ISOs are available to download from Microsoft official servers and Windows 11 isn't. We are using a, some sort of a custom script that someone has written which is great, it works great, I love this tool but it is not official solution, it is not supported by Microsoft, it is not even addressed by Microsoft and in reality there is absolutely nothing that prevents the author of this script to insert malware or a rootkit or a worm into the ISO and when you install uh, the uh, Windows 11 operating system your computer will be pre-hacked or something. Now I'm not saying that it does actually I have used this tool I, I haven't seen any suspicious behavior but I have taken my own risk and you need to understand that you will be taking your own risk when doing this. So if you're still here, if you're still interested in installing Windows 11, what we need to do is first to grab an ISO file. Now ISO files have not been yet released officially by Microsoft. I am uh, shooting this video in August 2021. There is still no official ISO. So what we are uh, doing, we are going to launch a browser into your favorite uh, search engine and type Windows UUP. The first result will take you to the UUP dump website. Now I have searched a little bit about this tool. It seems pretty legit, but I didn't have, I don't have the tools to dive into the code and uh, forensically investigate what's going on there so I'm just taking it as it is alright so in order to get the process of Windows download starting what we will do right here is just search Windows 11 and as you can see the second result will be Windows 11 Insider Preview and the build version and AMD 64 that is what we are looking for so let's click that and now we, uh, we, we, we are taking into some sort of a, of a wizard, so let's roll with it. English United States is fine by me, I'll click on next. Alright, so in, in this second screen I'm going to leave the SKUs as they are given and I'm going to click on next. I'm going to click on the third option right here. I'm going to include the updates checkbox and uh, unlike any uh, some other guides out there I am not going to check this checkbox right here because I do want the end result to be a, a, a WIM file and not an ESD file and this will allow me to deploy Windows 11 with uh, MDT and WDS which I'll dedicate a, a, a separate video uh, in the future so right now I have selected everything that I do want to include in the ISO it's given me a little bit of a summary of what's going to happen and I'm going to click on create download package now this is not the ISO itself it's just downloading a package that we need to go to and uh, and start so let's close uh, the browser window and go to the downloads package right here let's extract it I'm going to take the folder and move it to the C drive and all you have to do is to just double click uh, uh, the, uh, the script file right here and sometimes it may shout on you that it cannot operate in the folder that contain contains a certain name so let's just see and work our way around it alright click on yes alright so the script has began doing its thing and this can take a long while it can take I don't know 10 minutes 20 minutes even 40 minutes depending on uh, uh, the hardware of your, the computer you're using it on and your uh, 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 the amount of uh, uh, bandwidth you have for downloading files this can take a long time 
So what I am going to do is I'm going to pause the recording right here and I'm going to resume it when, once the, the entire process is complete and we are left with an ISO file. All right, I'm going to pause the recording right now. All right, so after a long time, and I admit I didn't wait just specifically for this process to finish, I did a lot of other stuff while it was working, but it took a long time and the computer was stressing because this script executes DISM scripts, DISM commands, it creates the SKUs, it downloads the files, it really does a lot of work and it took a long time. Now, your mileage may vary, you may be using a better CPU, I'm using a virtual machine for this, but end result, the script did its thing and it created an ISO file for us. Now, if you're into a, a, a OS deployment with MDT and WDS, definitely stick around. A, a, a later in this uh, video, I'll show how it can be done using this ISO. But if I'll just browse into this ISO, I can see that it's, uh, it's been created as if it was a, a regular ISO file of Windows 10 or every other version of Windows. And the most important thing is if I'll go to sources, there is an install.wim. So this is an actual file you can take and actually deploy onto window, uh, onto uh, uh, physical devices. Now, in other options of this script, it's uh, uh, creating an ESD files, but the options that we've selected, we've told him to create a, a, a .wim file. All right, so all we have to do right now is one of two choices. We can either take this ISO file and burn it into a, a, a USB thumb key using Rufus or Belena Etcher, whatever you are used to uh, uh, burning your ISO files on. Take the USB drive, plug it into a computer that's compatible with Windows 11 and install it as if it was a regular uh, uh, Windows operating system. I have already did this uh, uh, ISO creation uh, uh, um, process uh, before uh, shooting this video and I've taken the ISO file and I uploaded it to an, ISO, an NFS based uh, data store so I can create a virtual machine on my uh, VMware vCenter so I'll just go ahead and go to my vCenter and create a virtual machine and I'll have the ISO file available for me to boot from so let's take this ISO file that I've already placed in my data store and actually put it to use so I'll create a new virtual machine. Let's call it Win11 ISO. Select Windows 10. I'll give it just as a as a habit 60 gigabytes of hard drive. I'm going to say it. I'm going to uh, configure it as thin provisioning. I'm going to assign it to a network that is more isolated and here in the uh, DVD CD I'll choose data store ISO file I'll go to my NFS based data store which is actually hosted on my Synology uh, NAS I'll go into my folders that contains my ISO files and here is the ISO that we have created so let's choose it and don't forget to check this checkbox otherwise it will disregard the ISO file click on finish this is the same process of creating Windows 10 virtual machines by the way so let's power it on all right that's a good sign that's the Windows 11 uh, WinPE uh, uh, logo that's great all right let's select an edition Le let's see which edition? First of all, there are a lot of editions. As you can see, all of the possible editions are here. Let's click on the Windows 11 Pro, just for the lack of a better idea. Let's accept the license terms. Custom. Select our hard drive. And we are rolling. Now, this is a virtual machine, so we'll have to install uh, uh, VMware tools on it in order to get network connectivity. But as you can see, the installation has launched. Now, if you recall, we had an install.wim file inside our ISO uh, uh, folder. 
And if you're into OS deployment, then you, you know that you can use this install.wim file in MDT uh, or uh, WDS to deploy an operating system over the network with Pixie. So, if you're into OS deployment and you'd like to see a dedicated video about this topic, let me know in the comment section below. But, if you take a look here, there is already a Windows 11 ADK. That means that Microsoft is already prepared for deploying Windows 10 in the enterprise. And I have already uh, utilized a WDS and an MDT infrastructure in my home lab. So I already installed the Windows 11 ADK and WinPE. And then I took the install.wim file and uploaded it or uh, assigned it to my uh, MDT test sequence. And let's create a new virtual machine just as a glimpse. Let's call it Win11 Pixie because we're deploying it over the network. All right, so as you can see now, I am not uh, giving the uh, virtual machine any ISO uh, file, not Windows 10, not Windows 11, nothing. I want it to boot completely from the network. Let's see in the meantime what's going on with the Windows 10 ISO virtual machine. It's already finished installing, that's great. Let's speed this up with the restart now button. As you can see, this clearly is on, on the ISO based virtual machine. This clearly is Windows 11 in, in all its glory. It's getting ready. All right, guys, so as you can see, a complete Windows 11 desktop. Let's just try the winver command to see what version it is. It's indeed Windows 11. Looks like everything is in order. We are in a VMware environment, so the next thing on the agenda will be to install VMware tools. Let's see if that works correctly. Install VMware tools, mount. Let's go ahead. All right, looks like this installation is also uh, uh, um, successful and no uh, uh, blue screens or something like that. We'll need to, re to restart our virtual machine. We'll do that right now. In the meantime, let's flip back to our Pixie deployment. And as you can see, we are already installing uh, 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 the operating system. Now, I'm not going to deep dive or explain anything about my MDT environment and how I'm actually in, uh, deploying Windows 11 with it. If there's something that you shouldn't do in production right now, it's exactly this thing, deploying Windows 11. But I will wait a few minutes so that I can show you the desktop of Windows 11 with the MDT deployment uh, uh, continuing its other tasks. In the meantime, I'm jumping back to my Windows 11 ISO virtual machine and we got the login screen. That's great. No Microsoft account was needed because we used the Pro version. Same goes with the Enterprise version. Let's just log in. All right, so we got Windows 11 desktop all ready to roll. You can see that the uh, Windows 11 has some uh, unique design to it, which looks pretty great in my opinion. This is the start menu, that's great. I am going to wait just a little bit longer for the uh, MDT deployment uh, uh, to reach to the desktop state of the deployment. And uh, uh, I just want to show you that uh, in, in a glimpse and nothing more than that. All right, guys, so this is exactly what I wanted you guys to see. Windows 11 desktop in the background, in the foreground, the MDT deployment process, uh, which is actually deployed the Windows 11. Uh, uh, uh. With this, I will conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to see a dedicated video on how to currently deploy Windows 11 
uh, over the network with Pixie, with WDS and MDT, do let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a like. It will really help me with the YouTube algorithm. I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye everyone. Thank you for watching.